everyone, it's Bon and welcome back to my channel. So this is episode 4 of my summer 2021 film adventures. And yeah, I know it's already winter, but I predicted this on episode 1. And at the rate of how I'm releasing things, it'll be winter and I'm still releasing videos about summer. Anyways, last episode I talked about how my friends and I went on a road trip to Vancouver, British Columbia. And since Vancouver is pretty much surrounded by water and this is a series of video about summer, I definitely won't be complete um, without a video about going to the beach. going to the beach. I spent my early years growing up in the Philippines um, where I pretty much saw the sea almost every day. But after my family and I moved to Calgary, which is surrounded by mountains, hills, and prairies, the sea has somehow become this nostalgic place for me. And when I lived in Vancouver in 2019, I frequented the beach during sunsets just to soak in that melancholic vibe that I have for it. However, as much as I like hanging out at the beach, I'm not a good swimmer and I'm not confident enough to show skin. So I don't really like going to the beach to swim. Rather, I just like experiencing it, but from the shore. So while my friends wanted to go to the beach to swim, I pretty much just stayed on the shore and did a photo walk instead. During this trip, my friends and I went to two different beaches. The first one being the Cove in northern Vancouver, which is this nice secluded beach surrounded by mountains. And the other one being the third beach over at Stanley Park. When we went to the cove, I brought along my Contax S2 with a Carl Zeiss CY 50mm Planar 1.4 lens and loaded it with some color tinted films from Double Film, just for experimentation. I have a few complaints about this camera, like its very annoying light meter readout and its viewfinder, but since destroying my Minolta SRT202 in February 2021, this camera has sort of become my go-to SLR. As for the films, this was actually the first time I used Double Film, Pacific, and Apollo, so I didn't really know what to expect. But looking at photos online, I thought they'd be great for shooting at the beach. Essentially, these color-tinted films from Double Film are pre-exposed rolls of Kodak Ultramax 400 for the 400 ISO version, and either Kodak Gold or Color Plus for the 200 ISO versions. For these photos, I used the 400 ISO versions of Apollo and Pacific, which I both shot at 200 ISO. The way that you shoot and scan these films will really affect the look of the resulting images, and they're sort of unpredictable. I mean, Apollo will always have this cool, almost indigo shadows and warm yellow highlights, but this color cast will be different if you shoot at 400 or 200 ISO, or if you under or overexpose your shot. I really like the look of Double Film Apollo. I think it's quite subtle and doesn't overpower the colors in the image. 
In some cases, I think it ended up too green for my liking though, so I think you'll have to consider the colors that are already in the subject as well. I think a good balance of cool and warm areas, like this photo of a lifeguard, worked really well with the film's effect because the shadows, the sea, and the sky are all bluish, while the sand is warm yellow. I think this is one of my favorite shots from 2021, though part of me also wonders if this would have been better if shot with something like Kodak Ektar. As for Double Film Pacific, I'm not sure if I like it as much. I think it's a bit too cyan for my liking, so I'll probably tone down the saturation of the blues in these photos to make them more pleasing. Although I think this film would fare better in gritty, urban, or industrial type of street photography. I also brought my Yashica Mat 124 which I loaded with Fuji Pro 400H and Lomography Color Negative 100. I developed these myself, which is partly why I wasn't able to release this video for a while. Let me know if you're interested in a video about the scanning process that I did for these photos. At some point, my friends had to do a little bit of work, so I ended up exploring the rest of Stanley Park on my own. That's it! Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you liked it. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. I will see you all in the next one. Cheers! It's day 4. Day 4 of whatever this trip is. Hi again! Gabby's visiting our Airbnb. Having breakfast, Lisa over there. Ha <laughs> ha